The aim of this experiment is to find the refractive index of a liquid by using a convex lens and plane mirror. The apparatus used in this experiment are a convex lens, a plane mirror, transparent liquid in a beaker, clamp stand with an optical needle, plumb line, spherometer and half meter scale. Refractive index of a liquid using convex lens. Consider a plane mirror and place it on the horizontal surface. Place the convex lens on top of it. This experiment requires the stand and clamp setup. Clamp the object needle to the stand in such a way that it moves along the principal axis of the lens. Now, adjust the object needle by looking into the lens so that it forms a sharp and clear image eye. Here, P is the upper surface of the lens, Q is the point on the plane mirror and PQ are the points on the principal axis. Now, measure OP and OQ. The mean of OP and OQ gives the focal length of the lens. Keeping the setup as it is, remove the lens and pour few drops of liquid and place the convex lens on top of the liquid. This arrangement forms a plano concave liquid lens. While looking into the lens, adjust the object needle so that it forms a sharp and clear image I dash. Now, measure O dash P and O dash Q. The mean of O dash P and O dash Q gives you the focal length of the lens with liquid. F is equal to effective focal length of the liquid lens plus convex lens. F1 is equal to focal length of convex lens. F2 is equal to focal length of liquid lens. Focal length of their combination is given by 1 by F is equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. Here, if we know F1 and F, we get F2. From the lens maker's formula, N is equal to 1 plus R by F2. R is equal to radius of curvature, which we measure using spherometer. F2 is equal to focal length of liquid lens. Once we substitute these values, we get the refractive index of the liquid.
19.9 cm.
observations. The rough focal length of the convex lens is equal to 10 cm. Radius of curvature R of the convex lens as determined by the spherometer is equal to 20.03 cm. Observation table Distance from the tip of the needle to the lens surface X1 without liquid, only convex lens. The distance of the needle from the surface of the lens when inverted image is formed is 19.9 cm. The distance of the needle from the surface of the plane mirror is 20 cm. Mean x is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 that is 19.9 plus 20 divided by 2 that is equal to 19.95 cm. Focal length f1 is equal to 19.95 cm. When liquid is poured between the convex lens and the plane mirror, the combination is convex lens plus liquid plano concave lens. Then the distance of the needle from the surface of the lens is 29.7 cm. The distance from the plane mirror is 30.1 cm. Mean x is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 that is equal to 29.7 plus 30.1 by 2 that is equal to 29.9. Focal length f is equal to 29.9 cm. From lens maker's formula, 1 by f is equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. Here, f1 is equal to focal length of the convex lens, f2 is equal to focal length of the liquid lens, f is equal to focal length of their combination. Therefore, 1 by f2 is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by f1. Substituting these values of f and f1, f2 is equal to 59.94 cm and n is equal to 1 plus 20.03 divided by 59.94. Therefore, refractive index of liquid n is equal to 1.334. Precautions The liquid whose refractive index need to be determined should be transparent. The surface of the convex lens and the plane mirror should be clean and free from dust. The tip of the object needle should lie on the principal axis of the convex lens. Only few drops of liquid should be taken so that its layer is not thick. Tip to tip parallax should be removed between image and the object. No liquid drops should be allowed to spill over the upper surface of the lens. The vertical distance between the object needle and the lens should be measured with a plumb line and a meter scale.